good evening friends this is one of the very important topic to understand okay so please let me know agar kisi ko doubt hai if anyone has a doubt at any given point of time please let us know okay better if, if it is an interaction if you feel that you have unable to do it so we will you can text us we'll get you back okay biomechanics of hip okay let us start from very basic there are only three or four slides which are very basic thing which you should be knowing then apart from that we'll directly move into the topic biomechanics is such a sunte uh, sathi matlab what do we feel is it's very big tough topic uh, very difficult to understand no aisa nahi hai that is not that way okay it's very easy way it's very easy to understand if you understand little bit of basic 7th or 8th class mathematics okay we all know that hip joint is made up of ball and socket joint okay there's a ball that is uh, femoral head and there's a socket that is from the acetabulum okay it is called as diarthrodial joint what is diarthrodial joint can anyone answer diarthrodial joint what does diarthrodial joint means diarthrodial joint ka matlab kya hai anyone diarthrodial joint see diarthrodial means di means two arthrodial means any two structures which has got an articular cartilage yes yes very good it has got articular cartilage for example femur has got articular cartilage your uh, acetabulum has got articular cartilage and there's a formation of cavity cavity kab banta hai when it is completely covered covered by what in this case capsule so any any two surface which has two articulating surface which are covered by cartilage and it is closed by the articular cartilage by the sorry capsule which is lined internally by the synovial membrane so those type of uh, joints are called as a dry dry arthrodial joints okay plane and ball and remember, remember it's a plane ball and socket joint next important thing before now we are studying the uh, joint from outside in inside to outside rather than study from outside to inside okay how do this how do this hip becomes stable what are the reasons the hip is stable what are the reasons do you think hip is stable the reason being the shape of the hip joint alone okay the shape of the hip joint which gives its inherent stability because of the acetabulum which is convex and uh, your uh, concave and your exactly uh, mirror image of it is your head shape of the head if these two are matching that means the head is going to remain in the socket if either one of them is not matching either acetabulum or the head shape if there is an alteration then the head is not going to stay in the socket this is exactly what you see in ddh what happens in ddh can anyone say what happens in ddh what is the pathology in ddh or congenital dislocation of hip can anyone can anyone say this what what happens in ddh see this shape has to be maintained okay this has exactly counter counter shape if this shape is not maintained the acetabulum shape is not maintained instead of that if it is it is remaining straight and head is round will it stay inside no it doesn't stay in the joint because it just starts slipping off from the acetabulum the head shape has to be maintained along with that acetabulum shape has to be maintained in ddh the head is not pathology it is the acetabulum which is pathology acetabulum mein pathology hai acetabulum is not curved like this instead it, it is not like this it is it is straight so because of this being straight the head doesn't sit it just slips out okay sometimes what happened in case of parthes or any pathology of the hip joint acetabulum will be round 
but head will not be in proper shape so head will come out so either one of them is damaged your head is not going to be in that socket if the head is not going to be in that socket abnormal forces starts acting and uh, there is chances of developing abnormal loading on the femur head abnormal loading of the femur head leads to abnormal pressure on the cartilage abnormal pressure on the cartilage will leads to arthritis okay or degeneration so that is very important the most primary importance of any the arthroidal joint is it has to be exactly matching mirror image of each other okay uh, dr abhinav has written as ddh establum is not formed no no establum is formed but it is not formed properly okay someone has a shape of the femur head distorted no head shape of the femur head is not distorted shape of the femur head is not formed properly because the establum is not formed okay that is one of the reason and apart from your bony architecture there is something called as ligamentum ligamentum teres which is inside and other ligamentum okay so what are the other ligaments which you see here okay anteriorly iliofemoral yeah anteriorly is iliofemoral see there are three how does acetabulum is formed it is very easy to remember it is formed by ilium bone it is formed by pubis bone it is formed by ischium bone so all three are connected to the femur so ilium if it is connecting to femur it is called as iliofemoral ligament if it ischium is connecting it is called as pubo oh, sorry pubis is connecting it is called as pubofemoral ligament if ischium it is forming it is called as ischiofemoral ligament the importance is iliofemoral ligament is the strongest ligament okay is the strongest ligament it is in attached in terms of inverted y fashion okay inverted y fashion this is very important this is very important that is the reason all our forces which are see remember one thing ligament is in is it a elastic structure or non elastic structure can anyone say the inherent property of ligament is elasticity non. or non elasticity yes because of this non elasticity it cannot be stretched it cannot be uh, pulled okay it cannot be shortened it is static it is static so that static nature of the ligament also provides the stability agar elastic hota for example remember if for example if the ligament is elastic what does it happen as soon as the head goes into complete range of motion the ligament starts the ligament starts giving away elasticity that's like a rubber band badega 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 at one point of time the head subluxates it jumps out of the socket so the ligaments are inherently non elastic in nature okay remember that point apart from this ligament there is something important structure okay this part this you are seeing no this part what is that part called yes guys come on what is that part called which are marked now labrum yeah labrum what is the importance of labrum dr abhinav what is the importance of labrum it increases the surface area of contact deepens the cup yeah it basically deepens the cup see what is the importance i'll tell you how much importance the labrum is in case of posterior dislocation of uh dislocation of the hip joint what do you expect if it is unstable for example it's an unstable posterior fracture dislocation i'm sorry dislocation of the hip joint what are the things you look for there might be posterior wall fracture right okay exactly there might be posterior wall fracture say consider in case of pediatric population especially around 10 to 15 years of age okay i have seen a patient we have seen patients okay hip joint there is no fracture hip is dislocated posteriorly but it is unstable what does it mean hip joint is dislocated it was reduced back it was reduced back and kept in the socket but while doing the stability check test it is getting displaced what does it mean x-ray wise no fracture yes exactly 